So, I want to give a special welcome to one of my former students from last month. <laughs> Say hi to Norby She just survived introduction to statistics. I did very well. Of course, having a student of mine here means I have to change my act completely. So I'm going to start. No. Um, well, I. No. Uh, I like game shows. That should be safe. Um, game shows can be funny if you're patient enough. They're not wall to wall funny for all 30 minutes usually, but once in a while you get a gem. Once in a while you see a Jeopardy contestant who tricks Alex Trebek into having to say Turd Ferguson, which is funny because it's not really his style. But someone said it on Final Jeopardy once, they wrote it down just to make him say it. It cost them $5,000, but apparently it was worth it. So they didn't come back. And at the other end of the spectrum of game show intellectual prowess, is Wheel of Fortune. Jeopardy has categories like potpourri and before and after and 18th century literature. And Wheel of Fortune has people saying, can I buy a J? I'm sorry, the J is not a vowel. And they put them on back to back, which is like intellectual whiplash going from can I buy a J to 18th century literature. You have to smarten up during the commercial break at 7.30. But not all game shows, like I said, are funny wall to wall. And they should be. There should be game show comedies that are just wall to wall funny for the whole 30 minutes. So I have one. And I'm going to act it out for you. I'm going to do the entire sketch myself, all the characters myself. Now remember, if you try this at home, th this is harder than it looks. So if you try this at ah, screw it, I'm a relative newcomer. So do whatever you want. OK, here we go. Better concentrate. Maybe I should turn around for effect. OK. <laughs> Welcome to You Know You Know, the show of embarrassing trivia. There are lots of other shows out there that make you recite trivia answers, but these questions are embarrassing. So we're going to get right to it. I'm your host. I'm the smartest game show host of all time. I can beat Alex Trebek in my sleep. So since I'm the smartest MC ever, my name is E equals MC squared. <laughs> no? Okay. So let's introduce our contestants. Our first contestant has the name Penalty Box. Is that a nickname? Yes, it is. And what do you do, sir? I'm a hockey player. OK, I figured. And where do you live? In the Penalty Box. Makes sense. Thanks for sharing. OK, um, and his competition today is Sister Margaret who I'm guessing is a nun. That's right. Good for you. I'm sure you're second to none. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's get right to it. Round one, we're going to put questions to each of you. We have our categories all prepared. And Sister Margaret, you get to go first. Well, thank you, Mr. Squared. I'll pick Needlepoint for 10 points. Isn't that adorable? She thinks she gets to pick her own category. That's not how it works on You Know You Know. We pick the category for you. So, Sister Margaret, for 25 points, who was the lead in the movie Slapshot? wherein 25 different people got hit with a hockey puck. Oh dear, I'm not done. I know, I know! Oh, of course you do, penalty box. You're a hockey player, but this isn't your turn. Besides, that wouldn't be embarrassing for you, would it? Obviously, you're going to know this. We want to know if Sister Margaret knows it. Oh 
year, I don't know, um, 27? Ding, ding, ding! Well done, Sister Margaret, it is 27 people. We didn't think you had it in you. I didn't really want to say that. I know, that's why it's embarrassing. 25 points for you. Moving on. It's your turn, penalty box. So, let's see. Let's read your question. Phyllis, you made the damn cards too small. Oh, we're back. Um, okay. So, for penalty box, the question is, well, what movie is secretly your favorite movie? You know you know. I don't want to say. Of course you don't. That's the whole point. But we need an answer. Oh, the guys are going to see this. No, nope, no, nope. time is ticking away. Let's go. Um, steel magnolias. <laughs> of course it is. Isn't that wonderful, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? Oh, God. So, okay. You get the points. All right, round two. This is where it gets more interesting. We're gonna go head to head between our contestants and see how much they know about each other. <laughs> this could be really embarrassing for all concerned except for me. So, Sister Margaret, we go to you first. How many penalty minutes did Penalty Box spend in the Penalty Box this year? She's not gonna know this. Um, well, he seems like a very nice man. And I'm sure it's just the image he tries to get on with it, Sister Margaret. Of course. Um, 4,087. Ding, 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 very good. How did you know? Well, I do follow hockey a little bit. Apparently so, well done. That's not fair, I knew that one, I know my own stats. Well, so does she, apparently. Okay, so, question to you, penalty box. This will be about Mary Margaret, Sister Margaret. But I've never met her and she knows all about hockey, too bad. So, Sister Margaret, turns out, was not always a nun. What was her former profession? Must be really embarrassing. She was a stripper! <clears throat> that's a good guess, but no, that's incorrect. The correct answer was hip hop DJ. <laughs> so no points for you. Oh man, I'm getting killed. Okay. Let's look at our score. Let's look at the tote board. And the score is, oh, who cares? It's not embarrassing, it's just a fact. So, Sister Margaret's in the lead. So, penalty box, this is your last chance. This is the desperation question. Please recite the first 20 digits of pi. What? You know you know. I don't wanna. You gotta do it. All right. 3.14159265357932384.6. Very good, penalty box. That's absolutely correct. You get pi points. It's like three points or something. Yeah, I know. Isn't that ironic? So, final score at the end of round two, somehow. Penalty Box wins, 47-23. Okay, way to go, Penalty Box. Mary Margaret, Sister Margaret, we have nothing for you. Go away. So, it's time for the bonus round. This is the big deal at the end of the show. And Penalty Box, we've got a special question for you. This is a big one. This is for all the marbles. We have a special prize set up just for you if you get this. If you get this right, you get an all-expense paid trip to Toronto, Ontario, Canada, so you can go to the Hockey Hall of Fame 
and beat the crap out of the Stanley Cup. I've always wanted to do that my whole life. Then you better get this right. No pressure. So, your question is, what song did you, Penalty Box, sing at karaoke last Thursday night? What do you mean? I don't do, I don't do karaoke. Yes, you do. We have the video clip to prove it right here. Wait, you're going to show the clip? Yes, but then I'll know the song. No, you won't, because we're going to mute the audio. You still have to figure out what it is. So you have 30 seconds. We're not going to play Jeopardy theme music. We're just going to play the clip, and you figure it out. Your time starts now. You know you know. Oh. Uh, Okay, that's me, but I don't remember doing this. I don't do karaoke. Um, wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, God, I was drunk. Oh, I'm starting to remember this. Um, and who sees this? The entire country. This is national live TV. Oh, no. You have 10 seconds. Uh, oh, I know what it is. Oh, God. I don't want to say. The guys are going to say, no, no, you have to tell us. Oh, all right, I want that trick. Okay, it was, oh, what a shame. You're out of time. The correct answer was, Bette Midler's The Wind Beneath My Wings. <laughs> I knew that. Yes, you did. But I didn't want to say it. Of course not. It's too embarrassing. I've said it for you. Well, then I could have said it after. Yes, you should have. You lose. You lose everything. But you get to come back tomorrow. I don't want to come back tomorrow. This is a dumb show. No, you're the returning champion, but you've lost everything. All right, that's it. I'm throwing down the gloves. Let's go. Oh, um, we have to go. This is the end of the show. So, uh, good night from You Know You Know. Stay tuned for Wheel of Misfortune. Good night, everybody. <laughs>